G'day, Matt from greenandgoldrugby.com here. What I wanted to do today was look at one of the good things that came out of the Bledisloe last weekend, and that was the performance of Scott Fardy starting in his first test for the Wallabies. He topped pretty much all the counts for the Wallaby forwards in tackles, runs, and hitting the rucks first. This is really good news. We've been looking for one of those players who does the hard work, like a Kieran Reid. Uh, and the other good news is where Kieran Reid was born in 1985, Scott Fuddy was born in 1984, and actually Rich McCall was born in 1980, so there's plenty of time for him to develop. Starting off, looking at his ball running, obviously getting hit behind the game line was one of the problems that the Fords um, and the Wallabies had. That aside, Scott Fardy did some great work from some pretty tough positions. You can see here, at these last couple of examples, him managing to battle his way over the gain line, um, even when he's caught behind it. I'm just stopping here. You can see he's caught well behind. Richie McCaw's right up on him, but he managed to put a bit of a step on McCaw, and again, still battle his way past the gain line and present the ball for a quick uh, uh, ruck. This is a great little piece of play, as Bob Dwyer would call it, in the tight loose. You can see Fardy come around the back of the mall and rip it. But rather than going to the ground here and Retallick kills it, keeps it going, uh, battles on, and then presents the ball. And actually, we can see here the Wallabies have lots of options. There's a gap there if Hooper goes back to the inside, and then he's got guys to his outside as well. This really should have been um, try time. Here uh, we can see he takes it, uh, a, a, you know, a short ball from Genia, but then quickly recycles. And actually, when this played on, it resulted in two penalties in the All Blacks 22. This is another position. How many times have we seen Kieran Reid get into the strong position over the ball? But Scott Fardy, he managed to get low as well and is accurate in his clean out and manages to therefore create fast ball for the Wallabies, something that we really needed and that was an opportunity. Here's an another one. Um, you can see here, if I stop it, there's a great opportunity. Many flankers would think, right, this is my chance to get on the ball um, from this dominant tackle from Michael Hooper. Instead, Fadi assesses the situation and takes out a woodcock and creates an opportunity where there's space for the Wallabies to win a turnover. So some great quick decision making. Um, here's, a, here's another one. Just a nice clean out here, basically. Lua Tua is in a position where he's about to get over the ball. Not many other Wallabies in space. Fadi manages to make a gap here, um, which gives the Wallabies space. He does go off his feet. Not great technique, but he still wins this space. And you can see that the Wallabies um, have, have another chance. Here's another one. How many times have we seen Richie McCaw right on this corner of the ruck, just about to get his hands on the ball, but not this time. Here's a situation where the Wallabies have lost the ball from their own scrum and you can see that Fardy's managed to get back in time that he can actually affect a turnover himself on the ball. A pretty crucial stop there. This next kick is probably the Wallaby kick of the night. If we stop here, we can see there's really nothing on for the Wallabies. They're outnumbered, and Israel Dag is actually behind that line as well. Fadi looks up and drills it. He was actually a 12 um, you know, throughout his teenage years, so we can see that he's got a different set of skill sets. Here, okay... I talked about those skill sets. This wasn't a great example of it, but he still manages to clear it up, do a show and go, and get himself over the advantage line. Now we see that he does what all good players do, gets in the right places at the right time. This is a bomb we didn't field. If Kieran Reid had no pressure here, we were in big strife, but Fadi manages to get there and at least slow the ball down. Here's one of those charge downs from Genia, and you can see that if it's not for the hand of Fadi, that Luatua pretty much has a run to the line. Another example of Scott being in the right place at the right time. Just his first test, let's hope he sees more.